Hey beautiful people, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. My name is Fahad and I am from modprovider.com and today I am back with another amazing video for our Redmi Note 11 users and this time this is the Mind MIUI modded ROM for our Redmi Note 11 as you can see here it is based on the MIUI 13.0.12 stable build and its Android version is 12 Mind version is Ruby and this uh, video gonna be really lit because this ROM is fully loaded with the modes as you can see here in the mind labs as you can see here here we have the a lot of modes so this MIUI based custom ROM is completely uh, customizable and it just comes with a whole new beautiful theme as you can see here so this video is going to be really amazing make sure to watch this video till the very end in this video I will be showing you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11 is it stable for daily, for daily usage? I will also show you its Geekbench results and uh, that's it. Let's get started. So first of all, let me tell you that this ROM is not completely stable. You cannot use this ROM as your daily driver because it may contain a lot of bugs in it. But if you want to try it out, then you can install it. But I am uh, not going to recommend you uh, to use this ROM as your daily driver. So, how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11? Just download the ROM from the link in the description and put the downloaded ROM into any external hard drive or you can also use any SD card, micro SD card. Then reboot your device into the TWRP recovery. The TWRP uh, recovery 3.6.1 should be installed. Otherwise, it will not work on your Redmi Note 11. Uh, Keep in mind, TWRP recovery 3.6.1 recovery should be installed on your Redmi Note 11. And if you have not installed it yet, then you can watch the video from the link in the description. So first of all, you need to go into the wipe, click on format data, and from here you have to type yes, then click on the stick button. I am not going to follow these steps again because I have already installed it. Then go to install, and if you are using any external uh, device you just have to plug it in then from here you have to select the storage select the USB OTG click on OK and from here we have to locate the downloaded mind UI ROM and uh, here we have it mind uh, MIUI mind Redmi Note 11 recovery just click on it and flash it right from here after flashing it you just have to go back to home click on advance and from here you have to click on flash current TWRP and flash it right from here. It's gonna make your recovery permanent. Then click on reboot and click on system and the mind me UI ROM will be installed on your Redmi Note 11. Now let's start the actual review. So as I said this ROM is not stable for daily usage so please uh, don't consider it a stable custom ROM for daily usage and if you are going to install this ROM then install it on your own risk. So first of all let's start the uh, let's start from the camera and in the camera here we have a MIUI based camera and in the camera right here we have the Leica options right here you can use the Leica filters first one is the Leica vibrant and the second one is the Leica authentic and you can also uh, use the HDR and AI features a lot of new features are available in this camera like you can record the video without any issue you can use the filters HDR and a lot of options are available right here as you can see here and uh, you can use uh, you can record up to 1080p 60fps and you can also record the documents you can also use the pro mode and in the photos here we have a lot of options like you can use the super macro mode palm shutter tilt shift every option is available portrait is also available and it is working fine this camera application is working without any issue night mode is also working and from the more a lot of options are available like the vlog mode 50 megapixel mode short video panorama slow motion is also available right here and it is working like as well so other than that uh, in the applications here we have a lot of applications are installed right here and this is the uh, bloatware everywhere as you can see here the compass application downloads fm radio and uh, me video music a lot of applications are installed right here and uh, let me show you the geekbench score of this rom open it up go to history 
and here I had run a test on it and it just scored 377 on single core and it just scored 14 uh, 38 on multi core and it is pretty much like the other uh, MIUI 13 based custom ROMs these are not the much impressive uh, Gitchbank scores from a MIUI based ROM so now as you know uh, the performance of this ROM is not that stable now let's uh, talk about its customizations first of all let's have a look on the home screen the home screen pretty much looks like a premium ROM as you can see here a clock widget is added right here with the uh, weather information right here and here we have the uh, date right here here we have the day and here we have the clocks right here and it just animated like this as you can see here it looks pretty much cool and by the way you can also add a lot of widgets to your home screen to customize it as you can check here here we have the categories of the widgets right here and you can also use the recommended one and you can also add the wallpaper to your home screen to make it pretty much uh, beautiful as you can see here a lot of wallpapers are available right here and uh, then here we have the launcher settings right here from here you can customize it out a lot of customizations are available in this launcher setting as well as you can see here let me increase the brightness a little bit as you can see here you can change the animation speed right from here then from here you can change the home settings you can also hide the app icons right from here you can restart the launcher and here we have recent application shortcuts like i have added i have turned on the ios recent style as you can see here you can also turn it on from the settings of the launcher from here you have to go into the range items in uh, recents and from here you have to enable the ios style recent and then it will look like this and at the top here we have floating information and here we have the ram information then we have the cleaner and other shortcuts right on the top other than that uh, here we have a lot of janky applications being installed as you can see here this is not quicker like the actual miui rom and it just lags a lot as you can see here after it the lock screen of this rom just looks like android 13 based custom roms as you can see here here we have the clock right here and here we have the date and uh, the weather information and uh, the quick settings of this rom looks like this by the way you can also change the quick style style i will tell you later how then here we have the notification center and the notification center pretty much looks cooler than the miui standard rom here we have the clock in the center it just makes the uh, rom pretty much decent now let's go to the settings and have a look on the available customizations first of all here we have sign in option then we have a board phone and from the board phone let me show you the details of this rom this by the way this rom is unofficial and all the credits goes to its, its uh, developer and it is based on the miui 13.0.12 stable build its android version is 12 and its mind version is ruby security patch is 5 august 2022 so from the old specs you can change other information of this rom and it is based on android 12 so after it here we have the mind lab and in the mind lab here we have all available customizations uh, after going to the uh, mind lab you will get the about section from here you can read about them and you can also donate them if you want to then we have the modes right on the second number and here we have the misc modes right here so in the misc modes here we have uh, the option to reverse the mind lab layout as you can see here you can use it and uh, from here you can change the mind lab style from here to static ascent minimal or dynamic you can also uh, hide the option to sign in to me uh, account then we have some translation options then we have uh, theme app server you can change it to any of these and then we have gesture anywhere option you can enable it and use it as well right from here after it here we have the OSIP uh, modes and from here here we have some options like MISC uh, in the MISC modes here we have don't play sound on mute light title mute tile sorry then we have apply system font on CC then we have status bar modes from here you can enable or disable the uh, colored notifications unlimited status bar icons 
clock background chip which is shown right here you can enable or disable right from here then you can also change its styles and some other option like network indicators so one thing uh, you have to keep in mind that i cannot uh, briefly tell you uh, about everything in this room because this video is going to be very long if i started to telling you about everything in briefly so that is why i am going too short then you can also enable or disable this logo right from here and you can also change its style from the logo style a lot of styles are available right here then we have the status bar style status bar items uh, here we have the status bar icons then we have ios style notification pan so it looks pretty much cool then you can also restart the system ui and you can also show the weather data on the status bar so after it here we have the uh, you can also enable the option of show city and show description right from here then we have option of lock screen modes here we have power menu access charging ampere you can uh, make visible the charging ampere then we have the uh, clock style i am using the ios but it is showing the um, android 13 clock style i don't know why you can also enable the ripple charging animation then we have the vibrant options for the fingerprint and unlock by fingerprint after i don't know what is written in here then we have vibration on field unlock then we have on off screen animations you can set up any animation to the off screen then we have the icons and style from here you can change the I signal icons then we have the battery icon style right from here you can change the battery icon style from right for this battery icon on status bar then we have wi-fi icons volti icons charging animations are also available right here you can use any of these then we have volume panel style right from here you can edit it out as well right now i am using this one it looks pretty much cool then we have the nav bar style if you are using the nav navigation bar then you can choose any style right from here after it here we have the uh, control center and from here you can change the control sector uh, style right from here here we have the default monet 1 monet 2 monet 3 and you can also use the old cc i am using the monet 2 maybe it looks pretty much like this it looks pretty much colorful and uh, here we have the wi-fi and mobile data then we have brightness slider here we have the music playback then we have the me smart hub and you can also get the smart devices right from here by the way you can also edit the shortcuts right from here and here we have the other details like time and networks and some other options and by the way you can also change the cc modes right from here you can make uh, changes to the uh, uh, your control center from right here because this room is a completely uh, customizable room you can do uh, any mode on this room then we have launcher modes right here and from here here we have the animation rate uh, adjust blur radius you can also uh, change the unlock animation and here we have some uh, other options like icon shadow infinite scrolling and some other options then we have the blur effects right here for the folders you can also restart the launcher right from here then we have the corner radius and here we have some other options to hide them out and here we have the portrait and landscape mode settings then we have the music modes right here here we have the music management vibration is also available right here and the time delay volume up volume down and all other settings are available you can also change the color profiles right from here all these options are useful then we have mind activities and here we have uh, the activity options like default applications status bar tuner from here you can change the status bar icons do not disturb ambient display which is also known as always on display and it is working fine in this room but you cannot enable it from this option i will tell you how you can enable it then we have plugins right here then we have extra dim option you can change its profiles then we have band mode ai settings 
you can just set up the uh, AI uh, assistant on the press right from here then we have the gesture settings ignore accidental touch on screen so then we have the multiple user notification log and uh, uh, screen saver set to be set to web view selection is also available right here then we have the settings style from here you can change the settings ui style right from here uh, right now i am using the default one you can also use the amoled monet monet v1 and monet v2 after it here we have view uh, list view animations so list view animation is also available you can turn it out then we have the dialer modes right here after it here we have the power menu modes so from here you can access the power menu modes you can also use the old power menu and you can also change the choose the images for the portrait mode and landscape mode and at the end here we have the uh, notification center background which is uh, this one you can change its settings too so by the way by double clicking by double tapping on the cloak it gonna change the style right from here as you can see here here we have the two styles you just uh, need to double tap on the top and it gonna change its style automatically isn't it a cool feature of this room after the mind lab here we have some connectivity options here we also have the smart net and timer you can set up the smart net and smart timer right from here i don't know what exactly it's this but still it is available to use then we have bluetooth correction and sharing wallpaper and personalization let me show you the always on display is also available in this room and it is working pretty much fine i don't know why it is not working this time it was working when i uh, let me pick up any style right from here let's try this one and uh, i don't know why it is not working now let's try again click on apply okay the time okay we have to uh, show the uh, we have to set up it uh, on the always then it will show it up let's try it out as you can see here now it is showing the always on display perfectly you can change its style too let's try another style let's try this one so as you can see here it is showing up sorry for the reflections so always on display is also working perfectly it will automatically uh, change the brightness according to the atmosphere then we have the uh, icon styles right here you can change the icon style to limitless classic or mind edition which is i am using currently you can change the icons size right from here you can also use the icon captions so after it here we have other options like you can change the ringtones you can change the effects you can change the uh, fonts too and you can also change the themes and uh, right now in my themes here we have the classic limitless and mind edition right now i am using the mind edition so other than that you can also change the wallpapers right from here a lot of wallpapers are available as you can see here but in the my wallpapers there are only two wallpapers which are these you can use them as well so as you can see here they are applied but this room is full of lags as you can check and now if we talk about the battery <laughs> only one thing is good in this room and which is the battery uh, backup battery backup of this room is still better and here we have the battery saver you can also use the ultra battery saver so after it here we have apps additional settings so all of the settings are uh, usually from the mi ui standard roms i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button so i have a second channel where i used to post other custom rounds based videos you can subscribe to my uh, second channel the channel link is in the comments uh, description box and you can also join us on the telegram group and channel telegram group and channel link is also available in the description box so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching